Hello guys and welcome to episode 2 of my Darby County series. Um, today it's episode 2 so uh, it's time for some friend lists and it's time for some transfer news. So I've started scouting a few players from my home country Sweden and I'm really interested in bringing Emil Forsberg to the club. Emil Forsberg is a uh, you can see he plays most roles offensively, and but he's natural at attacking left winger, and it's great acceleration and all these shizzles, and well, according to the report, he wouldn't be too interested in joining us, but I'm hoping. I mean, it's okay to make a bid at least, try to convince him to come to the club. Uh, he's a great talent though here in Sweden we believe him to be a great talent and he's rumored to go like to Bundesliga or something like that and he's leaving Malmö who, who played in the Champions League this season actually um, also so we looked at Kistelin but not that interested in bringing him in and I got an offer for some guy named Kreppel I, I scouted him at least um, trying out to trying out a few players seeing if they will fit and so on but now it's time for my first press conference as the manager of Derby County do you feel that your ambitions for the club are matched by the chairman um, absolutely I have no doubt that the chairman has the club's best interest at heart and the fans are fortunate to have such an ambitious mind running things I do yes or just uh, I think I will answer this. I do, yes. Our discussions are often creative and there are a lot of good ideas floated which promise good things for the future. Do you feel expectations asked of you this season have been fair and realistic? Uh, I'm very happy with the direction we're going in. Everyone at the club wants to be the best they can be. Nobody wants so more so than me. What made you take this job? I think their ambition is fantastic, they want to be successful and they will not compromise on being the best. Um, uh, probably not, so I will not make a few uh, major changes. Um, While well, some managers are famous for their hands-on approach, others, yes. Uh, I want to talk to the players openly. Last season, Derby narrowly missed out on promotion, forcing the fans to wait another year. Uh, I think that is the next lap for this club. Yes, it's often said that different managers favor different competition. Um, absolutely, that competition will be in my main focus, and that is the championship. That's my first press conference as a Derby County manager. So, Andy Appleby, the chairman of the club, has just approached me about the meeting about the f philosophies about for the club. Um, um, so, let's uh, look at the philosophies they are already. So, mm, there's no real big. Um, they want to produ produce a young players they want me to sign young players um, to become great players uh, and they slightly agree that we will play a kind of def di defensive football and uh, make the most out of set pieces you know and uh, direct football so that's not really my kind of football I would like to play a type of attacking football with um, a lot of possession and they have no opinion on that actually so uh, well at least I would like to play attacking football at the club uh, so yeah I think they allow that uh, is there something else I would like to be um, yeah, I would like to be allowed to develop younger players and bring them 
through to become first team regulars. Um, um, they're adopting my proposed amendments and that is all cool. So that's nice and here we have it. Um, I'm uh, about to sign a player who's called Jakob Johansson. He's Swedish. He's 24 years old and he plays for Yves Göteborg. So he's a player I know a lot about. And uh, if we look at the report card, he would be a good signing for most Premier League sides. And uh, he's a strong player, consistent performer, uh, he's a professional player, he's interested in the club, and if you look at here, he's a real good player. And um, he plays both midfield, central midfield and central defensive midfield, and that is a great player. So I really wanted to uh, sign him up, and for 100k, that's cool for me. Um, so, um, yeah, I think this um, this looks cool. Top of it. Oh, yeah. I will I will deal with this and um, uh, bring it back to you guys as soon as possible. Looking forward, it's time for the first game, and it's a uh, away game against Balmina United, which is a Northern Irish. But uh, oh, sorry for throwing in a Swedish word there. But Balmina United, a Northern Irish team, um, playing in the IFA Premiership. Uh, so yeah, getting into the game. I would look at my team's. Oh, Craig Bryson is injured though, so he won't be playing. Uh, let me set this up. And there we have the team. I put in Hendrik instead of Bryson for the time being. Bryson is actually away for just four days, so he'll be back in the first team soon enough. So they're not very familiar with the tactic. Uh, I've changed it around a bit in the tactic. I have a controlling mentality and retain possession, shorter passing, work ball into box, lower tempo and close down more. So we're kind of feeling the defensive and um, at the same time trying to keep the ball inside the team, work our way into the box and score the goals. So we're not taking too much risks and trying to just have the game in our hand and controlling it uh, because if the if the um, opponent can't have the ball they can't win the game because they can't score goals and so on so yeah um, our, uh, during matches I think I will only show goals actually to keep it a bit on the shorter side so if there's any goals I'll show you just scored 1-0 and it's on a set piece and it's key off who finds the ball inside the box and puts it in to get us into the lead and 1-0 up there we have it the second goal of the game is us again and it's 2-0 now and it's, I think it's Ib who finds Houston's, and he finds the 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 goal, the backside of the net, two nil, three nil. It is three nil, and it is Will Hughes, my star player. Can I say that? I hope I will be able to say that in a few games. Ward finds the pass to Hughes, who just shoots directly straight into the goal, three nil. Guys, it is 4-0 and it's time for our striker to show his great play. Martin here takes the ball and just puts it in 4-0 for us the wayside. That's the first half and it's 4-0 for us and I'm very very pleased with um, how we're looking right now. So Craig Forsyth, our left back has picked up a slight uh, minor injury so I will sub him out 
right now for Kevin Freeman. Uh, so that I will that change I will make. Otherwise, I think the team is looking good. Uh, here we have them: John Eustace and Will Eugis, 8.2. Uh, key off 8.2 and we have Christy 8.0 and Will you just is just controlling the game I feel like he's uh, he's, uh, he's that um, central player who just controls the game I, I can't describe it I think um, he will be a class act for us this season so hopefully no huge team will come and pick our Will Hughes Will you just find Jordan Ibe who finds the back of the net? It's 5 0, guys. And this is getting real good. I really like to play, and uh, you just find Ibe there, who just turns around and shoots. And it's a great shot. And we're just continuing to score goals right now. It's uh, the 72nd minute right now, and uh, John Eustace has um, a minor injury. Uh, I think I'll put in another player just to uh, don't make the injury worse, uh, and hopefully it's not that bad. As we can see now, we have a few players over nine in the rating right now. So uh, we do just 9.3, and I'm 9.1 and key off 9.2 so really looking good uh, I'll make a few substitutions right now to, so they're not getting too exhausted it's the first game of the preseason and I think it's a good good 70 minutes they've played and they played great so yeah I'll mix a few substitutions right now it's 6-0 now Johnny Russell finds the back end of the goal it's a real complicated situation with people falling over and tripping on each other and then the balls come to Russell and he just shoots straight into the goal and as you can see right now we only have Will Hughes and Lee Grant who actually have played the entire game and great performance by Will Hughes let's see if we can if we can end up scoring another goal no we can't but 6-0 I can't complain about that result that's a great result, uh, preseason or not. So uh, um, I'm really, really happy about uh, the way they played because they're not uh, used to my kind of uh, tactic and so on. So getting a six nil win, that's great. Even though, I mean, maybe it's not the best uh, opposition, Bellamina, but. I think it's a good result anyways um, and will you just play off the match just looked amazing so I'm thinking um, two games every episode so I'll show you the friendly of the Kuban home game to Russian Kuban is it yeah uh, do you have any good players Yes, they do, but no one I really know. So, well, hoping we can get a win there too. So, there's some bad news actually. Malmö FF's Emil Forsberg has declined to actually start negotiating with the club because Forsberg feels like playing continental football at a high level is important. And Malmö FF is actually playing Champions League so he wants to be involved with a club that is playing Champions League or Europa League and as you know uh, Derby County can't uh, give him that European football right now but I'm hoping Jakob Johansson will make his transfer he, he was real positive about the negotiation and it went real fast and smooth and uh, I'm really I'm really really hoping he will he will accept the transfer. More bad news guys. If the boys Jakob Johansson has agreed a deal with FC Red Bull Salzburg. 
he wants on re rejected a new contract offer from if the body also rejected the offer from Darby and oh they make they're taking me in on a free free um, transfer actually I was uh, ready to pay a hundred K for him to get him directly well that's um, set back in the planning actually so I, I'll have to go back to the scouting uh, area and try to find another defensive midfielder and um, hopefully we'll get him otherwise I have to loan a player from a Premier League side club or something like that so we'll see time for the second game of the preseason Craig Bryson is back on the team but I'm not playing him in the first team um, I will though play Mascarell instead of Eusens to save him otherwise it's the same starting 11 as last time uh, I believe Kuban will be a greater opponent than the last team so uh, I'm hoping that I will get a great match out of my team this time too um, I'm just give him um, a good luck and hopefully we'll win it is 1-0 guys and it is our striker Chris Martin who just gives us the first goal it's been pretty chanceless um, no real chances but what a goal by Martin just jumping in there and scoring on that volley we have Ward here we have a goal the second goal directly now we want Babarine catches it one nil guys first half ends with a one nil lead for us um, I'm going to be uh, passionate when I'm saying I'm happy uh, I'm going to say that the preseason is important and this will pay have payoff later in the campaign so um, Jeff Hendrick is getting He's looking delighted. Other players are looking a bit nervously. Um, well, you just haven't played too b good right now. He's a 6.5. Uh, Chris Martin 7.0 after that great goal. And Cyrus Christie also a 7.0 because he's been uh, r real good in the offensive game. So we have the kickoff here. Hopefully, I'll be back with more goal news. We have it, boys. It ends 1-0 to us. Um, it's an okay game. Uh, uh, I haven't some. I haven't. I have nothing to say to the players. They played okay. It's pretty good. Uh, probably, I'm hoping for better achievements in other games, uh, more important games in the league. Uh, but hopefully. Well, um, we'll manage to get a few transfers going, and uh, um, otherwise, I think this would be the end of the episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the episode, please leave a like and subscribe to see the next episode and follow the series. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye.